Hi, I'm John. And I'm Lou, and you know what that means. This is a CVE of the week. Dun, dun, dun. It's Friday, July 25th, and this is IT SparkCast CVE of the week, where we talk about a common vulnerability expo exposure entry and what you need to know and how to mitigate ASAP. And today we're talking about what's a lot of people are talking about is what's going on with SharePoint. And Lou, why don't you bring us up to speed and let us know what we need to do. Uh, basically, so we've got two critical zero-day flaws in on-prem SharePoint. So if you're running SharePoint in the cloud, this does not impact you. But if you're running SharePoint on the prem, like you probably should be, um, you are vulnerable. And these two are CV 2025-53770 and CV 2025-53771. These enable remote code execution by a vulnerability chain known as Toolshell. So if you do a search on Toolshell, this thing will pop up everywhere. Uh, we got ours from Bleeping Computer and Tom's Guide. Um, so exploits were first demonstrated at Pwn to Own Berlin contest in May, right? And they've been active in the wild since at least July 7th or 8th, depending on the attacker. So here's what we do know so far, right? This is being exploited by Chinese nation state linked groups. We know they've gone after what they consider the weak spot because it is because they've gone after a lot of government and infrastructure type accounts. Those are folks that don't move quite as fast. If you're in that environment or you're waiting for somebody to say, oh yeah, we got to test it versus you know, making sure we don't lock out our users, screw it. This is an emergency patch, you need to roll it out. Now, Microsoft rolled out a patch for this. Uh, it was released um, basically this week. Um, it's, so it's, the patch goes for SharePoint subscription editor, SharePoint 2019, SharePoint 2016. These updates include advanced protections beyond the previous Patch Tuesday fixes. All right, so they, if you think I did Patch Tuesday, I'm fine. Nah, they didn't get everything. So you need to apply these emergency patches right now. If you can't do that, right? If you, for some reason, you've got a process or somebody who won't let you touch it, disconnect your SharePoint from the internet immediately. It cannot have any internet access. It will get owned. In fact, at this point, while you're watching this, if you have unpatched SharePoint on the internet, Assume it has been compromised. So now you are in cleanup mode. Understand that. You, you know, this, in this, this is interesting. So th there was also information that came out, uh, I think it was just in the last day or two, that the number of organizations that have not applied the patch is staggeringly high. So if you're hearing this and if you are running SharePoint, um, I remember it was four or five years ago, uh, our, our dev team deployed a tool uh, that was basically process tracking and a bunch of other things about uh, the, the source code that they were writing and all the projects that they were doing. And they put it behind a firewall. And so you had the VPN in in order to get access to it. And I remember being super frustrated by that because I very rarely needed the VPN in. We're in the, the, the land of the cloud and shouldn't have the VPN anymore. But this is why they do things like that, is that you run into a, and they weren't running SharePoint, they are running another tool, but same kind of situation is that if, if your SharePoint uh, deployment was behind a firewall, you'd be less concerned about this, if people are VPNing in to, to get access to it. That's adding a, a layer of complexity and a, a, some friction for your users. But you're also uh, adding a layer of protection. You are laying, uh, adding, adding a layer of protection as One well. One thing worth noting here is that the SharePoint 2016 final patching is still in progress. I don't know as of the, this recording whether they've fully issued all the patches. So if you're on SharePoint 2016, disconnect. Yeah. All right, assume your thing. They recommend, Microsoft recommends, apply the emergency patches, rotate the machine in ASP.NET keys, right? So even if you apply the patches, they may have already got your keys. So rotate your keys, enable AMSI and Defender antivirus for runtime scanning and real-time prediction. You need to be doing this. If you're not, you're in trouble. Um, disconnect if you can't, if you can't patch right now.
and uh, investigate for signs of compromise. I would say at this point, at this date, given when this thing went public, if you haven't patched yet, assume you've been compromised. Yeah, we'll put a bunch of links in the show notes because there's a bunch of different um, areas that are giving you step by step on on what you should need to do. So there's like a specific file sp install uh, looks like sp install ten, uh, or it might be uh, io. It's hard to tell based on the the font. ASPX. If you find that file, that's just one of the examples. So don't go off but what I'm what I'm reading out to you. But there's a lot of good information out there in these uh, links. So go look at those, and and Microsoft's going to be a great. Uh, uh, resource for you as well. As they well, they have no, they they get nothing from this going unpatched. They are desperately trying to get this thing patched. Right. And uh, SharePoint is out there, and it is a signature application for them. They really want to get this fixed. And there, uh, one thing, one note here is that they did drop patches last patch Tuesday, and they were quickly bypassed. So. You patched last Tuesday and you think everything's copacetic. No. No. So, All right. Attention, so that, please. that is going to cover this episode. Uh, we couldn't do this podcast without listeners like you. We want to hear what you think. Do you have another topic you want us to cover? Do you want us to go more towards these types of current issues? You want us to talk about other types of security issues? What would you like to, to hear? Send email to feedback at itsparkcast.com or hit us up on X at itsparkcast. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you can leave a comment down below. We read every piece of feedback and every comment that we get. We respond to most, and if it's particularly insightful, we'll read it out on our broadcast. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss an episode and you're always up to date. And with that, from the world of enterprise IT, take care. Stay safe out there, okay? <laughs>